Now at 1130, sun's out, wildlife's out. We are tracking a bear seen climbing trees in Chatsworth. Welcome to KCON News at 1130. I'm Kalina Estrinos, and after hours up in that tree, that bear has come down. KCON News reporter Luzdelia Caballero is live in Chatsworth with the latest. That bear just got all cozy up there, Luzdelia. That's right. I mean, it was literally camping out in this area. So we saw how dozens of people were across the street, across the way, getting really close to that yellow tape there that officials uh, put there for a reason, for safety reasons. Just in front of me, that bear, she was on top of a tree, then later came down. They figured, hey, Maybe we can catch her now, but they thought wrong. Eventually, she came up to this tree and uh, sat pretty there from 7 until just before 11 o'clock this morning. She was darted not once, but twice. It seemed like officials thought that she was actually going to be sedated and calmed down after 5 to 10 minutes, but that wasn't the case. So they darted her again, and that did the trick. Just before 11 o'clock this morning, she came down, and thankfully, uh, Fish and Wildlife made a call to a local gym owner that uh, his shop is not too far away from here. He was able to bring down padding from his gym. Uh, you can see the uh, footage of where that bear landed on top of those blue pads. So that helped break her fall. And at this time, they are just going to take her in and assess her before eventually releasing her. But let's take a look at what happened earlier this morning. So agents initially mixed tranquilizers and the initial plan was for the fire department to actually spray water to get the bear to leave the tree. But that didn't happen. Again, they felt like the safest thing to do was to tranquilize the bear and get the bear down. Uh, and earlier this morning, our cameras actually captured the bear coming down from that first tree we told you about earlier, a much larger one. She is a tagged bear, and Fish and Wildlife tell us she's a female between three to five years old and who's been on the move for hours. They just tried to catch her in a Northridge neighborhood and back in May captured her over in Claremont. And at that point, they put a tracking collar on the bear and released her to the Angeles National Forest. Since then, she's roamed fa as far as Malibu, believe it or not. Uh, they say the female bears do meander, but it's unusual to see one roam like this. So definitely this was a sight to see for many people, officials reminding everyone that, yeah, Yes, it is important to definitely keep your distance because as cute as they might look and she is on the smaller side, it definitely is something that you need to be aware of. We spoke to a couple of people who saw the bear for the first time. This is what they had to say. I saw her collar on her, so it's like she's she, she knows what she's doing then, huh? Well, I hope she gets she gets back to where she's supposed to be safe because it looks scary out here. We're a crowd, you know, and it's just one of them. So I'm pretty sure she feels like she's outnumbered right now, you know. You know, and that's really what officials were telling us here on the ground, that it isn't unusual to see bears climbing up very tall trees or not so tall trees like this one because they feel intimidated. I mean, she was putting on a show. Uh, maybe she didn't know it, but people were loving it here, and that's intimidating for bears. So they get on trees because uh, they sense a bit of danger. But once she was started and she came down, she was taken away by officials, and now they're just going to check her out. And once again, they're going to take her back to the Angeles a national forest. Hopefully she stays there and uh, doesn't uh, surprise people down here or scare them in any way. <laughs> Guys, hopefully she does stay up there. If she doesn't, then everyone knows what to do. Just stay back and, you know, admire from afar. Lizelia, thank That's you so right. much. Really appreciate it.